Well, here we are at the Prairie Falcon Irie. It looks like they used this uh, one last year. So we're going to check it out and see if we see any activity. We haven't seen any of the adults fly by or anything. We're a little bit early for any youngsters, but we're just checking the whitewash and uh, this looks pretty good. A lot of ravens nest here also. They could have made this mess, but there's quite a bit of whitewash, so I'm assuming it's probably the prairie falcons from last year or the year before. I have one other spot. I'll try to uh, locate that one. But this is our spot. We don't divulge where it is exactly, but it's in eastern Washington, and we have them um, on uh, YouTube, RHM Prairie Falcon. You might want to check it out from a couple of years ago. All right, well, over and out then. Enjoy the movie. Well, we're just checking to see if the Prairie Falcon is here. Getting on my monitor the lights. So I'm going to turn off for a second. Well, here's our prairie falcon iri on the Yakima River between Ellensburg and Yakima. Makes the curve here and it's inaccessible, so came up today. We seen a prairie falcon Easter Sunday fly over the hill and we went on this side here. We're shooting in. I hate to say how far, it's a long ways. But anyway, we found the iri, I think. And below it you can see the flag where the, they sit. So I'll back off just a little bit. There, you might be able to get both of them in there, but the top one, the cave hole, would be the Irie, and the bottom flag is the perch, so. And like I said before, it was Easter Sunday. The prairie falcon, uh, we were on the road on the other side of the hill here, and she flew right over. So we came up today to see if we could find it, and it looks like we did, so. We'll keep an eye on it. We might see her fly in later, so we're going to continue on down to the eagle's nest. So enjoy, and bye-bye. Well, here we are at mile marker four about on the canyon road between Yakima and Ellensburg. We just uh, had a snack and was coming back and we saw a prairie falcon fly into this hole here. And we got out, got set up and he flew out. I didn't get that on the video, but this is the nest. You can see a little bit of whitewash. So this is a newly found one. We didn't find this last year. I'll zoom back, there it is. But we're driving by and she flew in. And by the time we got stopped and set up, we saw the mate flying around, then we saw this one fly out. So we're all excited about it because this is the second new one we found today. We were down by the bald eagle's nest that got uh, destroyed with the snow. And while we were looking at that, we saw a couple of prairie falcons fly by and display there. So that area there has a pair of them. So. We're all excited, and the one that we videoed last year at their iri, they're active there too. So we have now seen three pairs of prairie falcons today, and we are really excited about it because we found two new nests. Uh, we didn't, we checked at mile marker 14, but we didn't see any activity there. We saw some reds, but there was a nest there also last year. So I'll back off a little bit so you can get an idea. And this is fairly close. If they, uh, becomes active this year this will be a good spot for videos and to come in and check them that's their little outcropping right there and I'm parked right here just very close and it wouldn't take much to hike up in there and check it out so if the youngsters get on this ledge it looks like a pretty good cave hole you can see some of the whitewash there so we're all going to keep an eye on this, and we're excited. This is our second uh, pair of prairie falcons we found today. We came over, and we're excited. We came just the right time. The sun's out, the sky's blue, and the birds are flying and displaying. I'll back off again so we get the full view of it. There you see the sky there. blue sky today and the birds are really enjoying it. I'll come back in one more time. And there's the cave hole right there. You can see the whitewash coming up. It's a fairly deep one because I looked with the binoculars. I couldn't see anything so they've got a good eyrie there. But we'll call that good then. 
Well, we're back at the Prairie Falcon Irie, the one on the Yakima River between Ellensburg and Yakima. This one just landed here on the rock, and we're going to look for the female on eggs. It's 40 some degrees, so she should be incubating. But this guy's been sailing around. I don't know if he got some food and landed here, but he's finally silhouetted in the skyline where we can see him really good. So we're excited about finding this uh, prairie falcon iri this year because it saves a lot of distance. The one we normally go to is uh, another hour and a half drive from here, so this is fairly close. But we're enjoying it very much. There's also a pair of kestrels nesting in this little area here and we want to get a movie of them so but we're going to spend some time here it's a little chilly today it's 40 some degrees so we know she's on the eggs taken care of and we're going to set up and get a movie of that and we're just filming this guy here he did quite a bit of sailing around earlier and then now has landed on the top of the rock here so we've got them pinpointed pretty good, so we're happy now. It's definitely an active nesting area. There's plenty of food for them. A lot of birds in the area. Along the river, there's plenty of food, so there's a lot of birds, blackbirds. We've seen some chuckers here the last time we were here. I know they take chuckers and quail and things like that also so there's plenty of food for these guys and they're in the perfect spot where we can watch them so and he's just sitting up there looking good this is as much as I can zoom in I got uh, a Sony camcorder with 70 extended zoom and I'm maxed out on it so that's about as close as we can get on it I could back off a little but now he's just kind of taking these. I can't really tell if he's got food or just preening, but it looks like he's preening, I think, yeah? But that's as close as we get. It's quite a distance. So we'll call that good then. Enjoy the movie. Well, here we are at the Prairie Falcon Irie. We're on the Yakima River between Ellensburg and Yakima. Found this uh, Irie about three weeks ago they were cackling she flew in there and he was on the perch next to it so now she's sitting in here and uh, it's a stick nest probably was a either a raven or a vulture's nest at one time but they've decided to use this nest and we're all excited about it we got the sun kind of shining on the lens a little bit but we're going to go ahead and run this and hopefully we'll get a good movie we saw the male sailing around about a half a block away along the cliff to the north about, oh, this morning sometime, around 11, I would say. But she's now uh, got up off the eggs a little bit and is kind of taking a breather sitting here enjoying the weather. She was printing up earlier, so it's quite a long shot, so we're seeing what's going on. I think I see her moving her head a little bit. She may be printing up, but it's working out really good. We have the spotting scope set up. Somebody could look in there and see if she's moving her head or something. We'd be all right. But I can uh, monitor on my camera so small. That, uh, so we're doing pretty good here. I'm going to go ahead and call that good then for today and see if we can find the males. So we'll call that good over and out. 